Okay. Hey peeps, Phoenix here. And this is the Great Ace Attorney. So, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in the past, but I love the Ace Attorney series. I have played all of the Phoenix Wright games, the Apollo Justice, and the first Edgeworth game because the second one never came to the States. Yeah, that's, that's the current part. But I adore this series. It's a different type of game, a whole different monster, where it's no battles, it's logic and contradiction in a court of law. And this just got released, the Ace Attorney, Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, which already existed in Japan, but this is America's first proper taste at the Great Ace Attorney series. So, I figured, why not have some fun? Because, the thing that makes me really love this series, this is the series that inspired me to become a voice actor. So this is going to be a fun time for me. Let's go ahead and get this adventure started. Gonna go with the first game, of course. Oh, but they're gonna already be voiced, aren't they? Ah, oh, well. The Empire of Japan. After opening its doors, a push for cultural transformation brought great waves of Western influence to this far eastern island nation. The revolution washed over the land, making life in the capital exciting and unsettling. It was a period of great change, and some were swept away by the tide. But for one man, the turbulence of that era was just the beginning of an extraordinary story. So, one thing I should mention, um, the regular Phoenix Wright games take place in a more modern setting. This game takes place during what, I, uh, I don't know the best way to order, but it's basically during the past. I can't give a specific date to it, though. Besides the 22nd of November, 8.43 a.m. at the Supreme Court of Judi Judicature, Defendants Antichamber 5. And to say I adore this setting is an understatement. And the main reason I haven't played the other Phoenix Wright games on the channel is I already played through them once on my own. So I would kind of already know the answers. This is fully blind. And it means I get to have a lot of fun going through it. So let's go ahead and get it started. So, since I've already seen the cover of the game, I can only assume that this is our main character. Still can't believe it. Still can't believe this is happening. How can it be that just beyond the doors of this quiet little chamber is the highest court in Japan waiting to decide my fate? What? Oh, no, nothing. Save your glass, murderer. Sorry. My name is Ryanosuke Naru Naruhodo. I'm a second year student at the Imperial Yume University. Three days ago, I somehow found myself in the middle of a horrifying incident. And now, here I am, awaiting my trial. Oh, who do we got here? <gasps> He's not obliged to listen to such abuse, officer. And who are you? I'm this man's lawyer. I'll be defending him today. Lawyer? 
Yes, and until the judge has given his verdict on the case, no one has the right to treat him as a criminal. So you will hold your tongue. Technicalities, look at you. You haven't even graduated yet. And yet, I still seem to know better than you how a court officer should behave. Right, Ryanosuke? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. What are you apologizing to me for? Oh, uh, no. I suppose that wasn't my fault. But, really, Kazuma, I, I never meant to drag you into this. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go again apologizing. Just like always. Uh, though I must say, you've been all over the newspapers these past few days. Yume University professor murdered in cold blood by student. But obviously, you didn't actually do it, did you? Of course not! You have to believe me, I didn't do it! I... I can never murder someone. Then there's nothing to worry about. Straighten yourself up. Hold your head high. You mean... I believe you. I know you're innocent, Rinosuke. Kazuma Sogi. My best friend. Also, in his second year at Yume University. But he's far more clever than I. Star student, in fact. He's even qualified as a lawyer. Impressive, considering he's still an undergraduate. It's not that impressive. That very concept of lawyers is only a few years old. Here in Japan, anyway. My qualifications don't mean much. Yet... You said exactly the same thing three years ago. Days ago. Sorry. A little bit scrambled after, uh, you know, being framed for murder. But I'm proud to have a friend like you, Kazuma. Truly. Three days ago. Yes. That's when all this started. Congratulations, Kazuma! Looks like you're going to get a study abroad at last! I know, I've been forever dreaming of this day! Finally, those government elites have acknowledged my academic achievements and successes in court! So, you'll be representing Japan as you immerse yourself in the most sophisticated legal system in the world! I'm really happy for you, and proud as your friend. It's not a soul in the university who doesn't know Kazuma's name. It's a living legend! It's like there's some mysterious aura billowing around this temple. I want to bring about change in our own legal system. That's why I have to cross the ocean to see the real thing with my own eyes. The heart of the British Empire. Wish I could see it too. Then come with me. We'd have a wild time tearing up the streets of Her Majesty's City of London together. <laughs> if only it were that simple. Oh dear, look at the time. I better get going. Alright, see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a while longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow, then, partner. You know, every time I see these in one of the Japanese games, it shouldn't bug me as much as it does, considering it's a translation, so of course it would be English. Yeah, you get it. Then again, I guess Americans have to go to English, in, eh, English class, so eh, I guess it's not too weird. Straight after that, that's when it happened. Oh, new guy! Oh. Professor, I didn't know you were coming. Well, this case has personal significance to me. But never mind that for now. Asogi. You should go immediately to the judge's chambers. To His Excellency's chambers? Why? He was looking for you before. You advocating for the defense in this trial was a sudden decision. It seems there may be some confusion about procedures today as a result. Who's this man? 
feels as though I've seen him at university before. I see. Well, I'll go at once then. Oh no, I gotta do a girl's voice. I shall accompany you. Alright then, Rinosuke, I'll see you in the courtroom. Yeah, thanks, Kazuma. Ugh, this is awkward. If I may. Yes, sorry! You must be the defendant, Ryanosuke Naruhodo, I believe. Yes! Yes, that's right! My name is Yujin Mikotaba. I'm a professor of forensic medicine at Yume University. Ah, uh, Professor Mikotoba. I've heard that name from Kazuma before. As I recall, he's been pushing to get the government to agree to Kazuma's studying abroad. Soki has told me about you. You and he are best friends, I understand. As such, I feel you should know. You know what? Well, as you've no doubt heard, Soki has been granted permission to go and study in Great Britain. However, if he should fail to defend you in today's trial, I'm afraid that that permission will be revoked and never granted again. What? As I suspected, you were unaware of this. I had a feeling Asogi may have chosen not to tell you. He's agreed to defend me? Knowing that if he fails, his dreams will be shattered? But I don't understand! Why would the government do such a thing? The administration has to choose from a large number of applicants for overseas study. It's very difficult to persuade them to grant permission even in the most favorable of circumstances. I don't believe it. But I... I didn't do it! I swear it! I'm not a murderer! I'm sure that's true. Nevertheless, I can assure you that proving your innocence will be no easy task. You see, there are certain... peculiarities about today's trial. Sorry? What do you mean? You'll soon understand, once proceedings get underway. But... then what should I do? Well... Naturally, I'm not going to suggest doing anything that could lead to a conviction. Right, so... As soon as the trial stops, the judge will pose a certain question to the defense. When that happens, you must answer before anyone else. You must say, I do. I do? But what will the question be? Surely not... Do you accept the accusations brought before you? Of course not. Defend it! Court is about to begin. Proceed to the courtroom at once. Ah, uh, it would seem our surreptitious, surreptitious discussions are to be cut short. So allow me to summarize. Kazuma Asogi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. Of course, as a defendant, the final decision is yours. Is the question gonna be, do I want to be my own lawyer? What are you waiting for? Do you want to be found guilty for failing to appear? Get moving! There's no point to anyone advocating for the likes of you anyway! Said, this trial goes badly. Suma's dreams of studying abroad are over. What's more, we be found guilty of, of murder. And so, with absolutely no idea of what lay ahead, I embarked on that unforgettable trial. My one and only chance of proving my innocence. The trial that would decide my destiny. Now the fun begins. <laughs> I 
I didn't expect his eyes to be so bugged. So this is a courtroom. The Supreme Court of Judicature. No court in the land has more power. I don't much like the looks of those people sitting in the public gallery. Lots of military and other uniforms in there. The powers that have demanded this be a secret trial. A secret trial? A trial that's closed to the ordinary members of the public. Only military and government officials may attend. What? But why? It'll become clear in time, but for now... You need to concentrate, Rinosuke. It's about to begin. Every time! Every time! Uh. Alright! Court will now hear the trial of Rinosuke Naruto. The prosecution is ready, Your Excellency! As is the defense. Before we begin, there is one point of order I would like to confirm. Yesterday evening, the defense made a last minute request for a change of advocate. That's correct, Your Excellency. I made the request myself. Normal procedures for the defendant's advocacy to be decided two days prior to the trial. As this is an unusual circumstance, I am obliged to ask for final confirmation now. Who advocates for the defendant in this trial? This is it. This will be the question. Who's going to defend me? That's the question the professor meant. But then, if I say I do... I need to answer quickly. What should I do? I do! Your Excellency, no confirmation is needed. As I am standing here besides the defendant, I hope it's clear who yes! is What is the meaning of this unruly outburst? I... I would like to inform the court that... that... I... Rienosuke Naruto will be defending myself! You'll be... What?! What are you playing at, Ryunosuke? Professor Mikotoba told me everything. Just now, before the trial. He did what? He said that your dreams of studying abroad would be dashed if you were to lose. How sad. Means you don't have faith in me. You think I won't be able to get you off? No, it's not that, really. It's just that, well, on the off chance that things don't go well for me. I couldn't bear to be the reason that you... Yes. I knew that's how you'd feel. Which is exactly why I decided not to tell you. Professor Mikotoba would have stuck his nose in. Very well. Court hereby recognizes the defendant's desire to advocate for himself in today's trial. Well, well. Does the accused admit defeat already? Renouncing his own counsel? Really? Objection! Make no mistake, counsel. This merely shows that the defendant's innocence is so apparent he's confident he can speak for himself. Isn't that so, Naruhodo-san? Hmm? Oh! Yes! Exactly! Exactly what I wasn't thinking? I'm not that confident at all! In fact... That's a complete blank. I realize you're in charge now, but still, try not to look so bewildered. <laughs> well, for a mere university student to be brought before the Supreme Court... You must have perpetrated a most heinous crime indeed. As you are no doubt aware, this is the Supreme Court of Judiciary of Japan. Accordingly, the very highest standards of conduct are expected to fall present. Do I make myself clear, Defendant Naruhudo? Yes, Your Excellency. It is therefore my duty to assess your competence for the task you have undertaken. My competence? 
What does that mean? He's questioning your ability to do the job. Well, he can't be questioning it more than I am. So, let's start with the very simplest of questions. Oh, uh, yes! Kindly state before the court the name of the victim in this case. Well, that's easy enough. I've heard his name more times than I care to remember. But, wait. Uh, I'm so nervous, I can't even remember that! What was it again? Rinosuke. Let me guess. Your mind's gone blank. Uh, you know me so well. All the relevant information for this case can be found in the cold record. But, but I can't even find that! It's simple. You can access the court record with a press of E. If you ever find yourself forgotten or something, just consult that. It's all in there. Just have to press E for the court record? Alright, there's no time to lose! This is a list of the evidence you've collected. Now try switching to people instead with E. You'll find details about the victim in here. When you're done, just press C to go back. Okay, well, this gives us a chance to look everyone over. Kazuma Soji, second year at the Imperial Yume University. He's my best friend, and despite being a student, qualified defense lawyer as well. Medical school professor at the Imperial Yume University. He's an authority in forensic medicine and Kazuma's mentor. Tagetsuchi Ayuchi, the lead prosecutor of this case, who would appear to have little love for the changes the Cultural Reformation has brought about. And what seems to be our victim, John H. Wilson. The victim of this case, he was visiting professor of medicine at Yume University from the British Empire. Okay. So remember, everything to do with the current case can be found in the court record. Now, you better not keep his excellency waiting any longer. Go on! Find the victim in the people section of the court record, then press R to present. Try it now. Yes! The victim's name was Dr. John H. Wilson. <laughs> well, at least you can remember the name of an esteemed member of your own university. Dr. Wilson was visiting a professor from England in Biodeuma University three years ago. Indeed, which is the reason why this case has such profound implications. The British Empire is at present our country's most valuable foreign ally. And as most of you will be aware, we have just signed a new treaty together after lengthy negotiations. There can't be any more who hasn't heard of the Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Friendship and Navigation. And yet, despite these delicate circumstances, the blood of an Englishman has been spilt on our soil! You two are both undergraduates at the Imperial Yume University, are you not? Murdering a professor from the very institution that provides your education! Have you no honor?! Uh, I didn't do it. This case is coming under great scrutiny from our allies on the other side of the world. The court therefore wishes for a speedy resolution to this matter. <laughs> In other words, our feeble government is scared of upsetting England's policy makers. And you're a convenient and expendable scapegoat to blame for this crime. So that's why this trial has these unusual peculiarities, is it? Exactly. Our government needs to convict someone as quickly as possible. All because the victim was an Englishman. Yes, Dr. Wilson was an Englishman. But nationalities and treaties won't make any difference for me here. The fact is, I was there at the scene of the crime. Oh dear, look at the time. Better get going. Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a little longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow then, partner. The British Empire. Wow. It's incredible to think... Wait. I 
I've seen that man at the university. I'm sure, he's a visiting professor from Great Britain. I don't know his name, but still, I should go and say hello. So I went over to the professor's table and introduced myself to Dr. Wilson. Now then, let me pose my next question to you, Defendant Naruhono. Yes, Your Excellency! How did this professor of medicine, Dr. John H. Wilson, lose his life? Stay before the court, the cause of death. The cause of death? Well, obviously that was... Uh... Rinosuke, remember that in court, every assertion must be backed up by evidence. By evidence? But how? Find the piece of evidence that shows the professor's cause of death, and select present. Do it now! Well, we can look at the items now. Got the university collar pin, proof that I'm a student at the Imperial Yumi University. I always wear it on the collar of my uniform jacket. And post-mortem report. Death occurred a little after 2 p.m. It's caused by a loss of blood from a gunshot to the chest. The bullet did not pass through the victim's body. Yes! Um, well, according to this document, the victim suffered a hemorrhagic death to gunshot trauma. Learn to read, you imbecile! That's the post-mortem report, I take it? Sorry, yes, that's right. The, um, post-mortem report. In the West, a doctor dissects corpses to identify the cause of death in an autopsy. But here in Japan, a police officer merely inspects the body and draws conclusions that way. Oh, I see! As long as I'm not going to be tested on any of this later. This is so-called photographic print of the scene of the crime! You can clearly discern scorch marks around the bullet hole produced by the powder explosion. In other words, we should assume that the victim was shot at close range. Thank you, Counsel. The court will now accept this modern scientific evidence into the record. Well, we got the photograph now. So that's a photographic print. Well, that's something I've never seen before. It's clearly superior to the drawing. The detail is incredible. Very well. I'm satisfied with your answers. Let us start the trial. Certainly, Your Excellency. So without further ado, in order to better appraise the court with the facts of the case. The prosecution hereby calls its first witness, who was there at the scene of the crime when it happened. Uh, this is it, then. <laughs> I think I may have worked out what the professor had in mind. The professor? You mean Dr. Dr. Mikotoba? Yes. Clearly you're the defense lawyer today, not me. That doesn't mean... Well, I can still act as your assistant. Uh, of course. When he was speaking with me before, he simply said, Kazuma Sogi must not be the defense lawyer in this trial. <laughs> he really has been sticking his oar in, hasn't he? Maybe, but any help you can give me would be greatly appreciated, Kazuma. Well, my first piece of advice is rein in that crazy look of bewilderment and control the cold sweats. Only if you rein in that crazy headband and control the cold stairs first. Oh! Witness! State your name and occupation for the court, please! Of course. My name is Satoru Hosunaga. I am the head waiter at a western-style restaurant called Le Carnival. <coughs> <coughs> Um, are you alright? You seem to be coughing up some, uh... It's a regular occurrence. It really doesn't bother me. Uh, it really, really should! As everyone knows, the capital southeastern quarter was developed for foreign visitors some years ago. It's become a very fashionable district now for the hotels to accommodate overseas guests. 
this grim crime occurred in one of the district's so-called restaurants, an occidental eatery, three days ago. Understood. Osnagasa, you will kindly tell the court everything you can about the incident. At once, sir. And no petty interjections from the aspiring lawyer boy, please! Oh, uh, uh, aspiring? Maybe. But aspiring? It was just at 2 p.m. on the day in question. We have few diners at the time of day. The lunchtime rush was over, and there were only three tables still occupied. That fits in with my memory, too. There was hardly anyone else in the place. <coughs> it was then when I was in the kitchen, putting away crockery and cutlery. A gunshot rang out, so I hurried out to the dining area to see what had happened. I found the victim, an English gentleman, slumped in his chair, and standing immediately beside him, gun in hand. The accused university student. Yes! Hold on! Let me just clarify something here. While I did pick up the gun that I found lying on the floor beside the professor, I. I didn't shoot him! Attention! Aw, oh, they changed his voice! He used to be. Like, I used to really love his old objection. I believe I asked you to refrain from petty interjections! The court wishes to listen to the witness's report of what he saw, you amateur! Next time you interrupt at an inappropriate time, you will be penalized, Defendant Naruto. Don't worry, Pianosuke. You will have your chance to fight back. For now, we must just quietly listen to the witness. Uh... If I may confirm one point, waiter. Standing beside the victim with a gun in his hand was the same man we see here in court today. <coughs> yes. Without question. I see. And apart from the accused, was there anyone else standing beside the victim? No. There was no one else around the table but the deceased Englishman and the university student. Huh? Wait, what did he just say? There was no one else around that table? What's the matter, Ryanosuke? That... that's just not right! When I went over to Dr. Wilson to say hello... There was a woman sitting opposite him at the table. Really? And that's not something the waiter could have missed! I've been warned about interjecting, but still... What should I do? Uh, what? You know what? We'll find out in the next episode. So, until then, we continue to prove our innocence next time. Later!